Okay, so our last neurotoxin that I'm gonna show you how to mix is the Juveau. And this is nice, this is Derica. Um, and she's gonna show you this is nice because it has this pop top, so you don't have to fight to get the top off. So it makes it really easy. So she's gonna just pull that and that top pops off and then your stopper comes right out. So all of these, the concept is the same as you've got this protein in there that's in this powder and you just wanna be really delicate with it so you don't denature it. Now Juveau is a little different because we mix it with 2.5 cc. So go ahead and draw that up, Derica. Um, still the bacteriostatic saline and she's gonna draw up two and a half cc's. And then she's gonna slowly inject that down the side of the bottle. Just dripping it in so that you don't denature the protein. And then she'll put the stopper back on and she'll just roll it between her hands to mix it. And that is now mixed and ready to use. Now Juveau is nice because it's very comparable to Allergan's product, Botox. It is a little cheaper to buy. So if you're gonna do this for friends and family and you don't wanna charge them a lot of money, these bottles are, thank you, Derica. These bottles are a little bit cheaper. My only caution is if you're new at injecting neurotoxin is because the Juveau is a larger volume of fluid, the 2.5 cc is as opposed to one cc, you can theoretically have a little bit more of a problem with product um, diffusing beyond the area where you want to inject it. I'm not talking about any kind of major complication, but if you're doing this in the frown lines, um, because it's a larger volume of fluid, you just have to be careful that you don't end up with fluid um, that diffuses into the abicularis or you get a droopy eyelid, as we've talked about in the complication video. So I think this is a great product to use actually in the upper forehead. Um, it diffuses really nicely across the frontalis muscle. And so especially if you've got somebody who says, well, I did Botox, but I didn't love the result um, because I didn't get enough of an effect in the upper forehead, the Juveau is a really nice product to use. It's very light and it feels um, almost weightless in the forehead. Disport is a really nice product to use in people who either have been doing Botox for a very long time and have antibodies and their Botox just isn't lasting yeah, long enough. Um, it can feel a little bit heavy in certain areas and I do have to um, give a disclaimer that Disport is only FDA approved for the treatment of frown lines. So this is obviously not a, um, a, Galderma, a Galderma endorsed video. Um, we put Disport all over the place um, in the forehead and in the crow's feet. Um, we use it cosmetically, you know, all over the face, but it is only FDA approved approved for the glabella. So if you're somebody who worries about that, um, you want to use the other two products for other injection points. All right, so those are your three products mixed and ready to use.